Welcome back to round three action. John John Florence just went on to round four alongside Ryan Kauna and absolutely blowing up but finishing runner up in that matchup. Now moving on to another heavy world title implications with this heat, Medina. A former world champ, one of the most dominating surfers in French history, taking on Leo Fioravante, the wild card from Rome, Italy, calling this part of the world home, looking to prove himself on the top stage. He certainly did that, even though he was runner-up to number one in the world. And during the break, Medina already got started. Yeah, Gabriel Medina off to a flying start, which uh, he's quite notorious for doing, Joe. You can see a lot of energy involved right here this wave, not really cooperating, so just a series of sort of wrap around cutbacks 6.17 nice solid start for Gabriel Medina the battles that uh, John's talking about you know win lose or draw they're just amazing to be a part of and uh, Ryan Kellen and just showed that uh, you know what if anyone ever doubted that kid have been on the world tour well that just uh, quietened everyone big punt from Gabriel Medina a ton of heights for a second there, wow. I almost thought he was going to pull off a miracle. Looks like Medina's inspired to keep this air game on fire. As we take another look at this one, Potts. Yeah, let's have a look at it in slow-mo. And as you said, Medina fired up. He's just been sitting back watching John and Ryan. And the ramp was there. Medina flying through the air, upside down, inverted. About 10 or 12 foot above the lip. And was so close to pulling that off. That was crazy right there. And uh, you can tell him he was hanging on by his toenails trying to pull that one off. Leo Fioravante trying to step up for the task at hand here as a wild card. He's already taken out Kelly. Just left searching on this right. Down the line, it's Medina on his forehand on the split. Solid drifting snap to finish. And he looked to a better a two-point ride. And the young Italian is going to be up against the ropes after this exchange. Let's have a look. Medina split the peak with Leo off the bottom. Beautiful snap right there. Now he starts to get that speed down the line. Another turn up and over the top. And then I thought he was going to go to the air here, but just maintained. Pulled back just a little bit and made sure he finished that off. Now he's got two solid scores under his belt. Now we can start lighting it up. He made a final out here as a rookie on tour. Won that one. He'll take off late. He's loving this left down the line. He'll just dish the fins out. Total control. Blasting it off the lip again. And now winding up for the finish. Throw tail reverse. Medina is surfing at the top of his game. That wave looked like about a two when he took off. And he turned it into a, a solid score. The thing with Gabriel Medina is he's, he's in that mold of, you know, the John John mold. Those guys that can take off on an average wave like we are talking about before. Toledo the same there, straight into that air reverse, didn't quite go all the way around, lightning fast snap, Medina just on fire right now, 7.17 on the wave before, so all of a sudden, the get-go, Leo Fervanti in a combo situation, Medina straight out of the blocks firing, slides that front foot forward, deciding to pull this one back around, see the footwork right there Joe, to get those feet back on that pad and into that next turn. Don't have a lot of time to do that. Medina just really quick on his feet. Great footwork there on that wave. Slides it around as easy as you like. And uh, another good score just about to be locked in. This is danger signs for Leo. And he'll outdo you every time. He's got something more for inside sections. Like that last reverse he pulled off with beautiful footwork. Your imagination isn't good enough to keep up with what Gabriel Medina is <laughs> doing. And it's the same for a guy like Toledo as well. Let's take another look at this score. Well, it only came in at a 6.17 only, but a nice turn right there. How quick was that snap from Gabriel Medina? Just Bruce Lee karate chopped that lip, and then a quick little reverse. So I think what kept that score low, Joe, was the size of the wave. It was a smaller, smaller wave, just a nice little fill-in. As you said before, nothing really too worry about it at the moment but here goes Medina again. Medina up and out. So two big wins. A 17 year old was showing that he could do it on the open face as well when he had a big air reputation but he's got a ramp now. But trim that one off the top for more speed and then blow the tail out with a solid reverse to finish. Next section is opening up for Leo Ferravante flying through a stretched out barrel. 
and a layback under the hood to get himself back in this heat. Beautiful positioning, Medina on the wave before. An interesting wave choice here from Gabriel Medina. You can see just looking for that backside rotation. There it is right there. Lightning fast spin from Gabriel Medina. And then right behind, Leo driving, driving through that barrel. Comes out nice and clean. And then just a bit of a carve down, layback sort of maneuver there to finish off. So left for Avani, smart surfing from him. And there's another angle from Leo's barrel. As I said before, this is uh, this is Leo's playground, Joe. This is where he's honed his skills. He's feeling comfortable right now. I think you can tell by the urgency of Gabriel Medina that there is a little bit of nerves maybe. He's watched John John just drive through his heat, wants to do exactly the same, but he's got to deal with the Italian stallion. Unbelievable answer back. Leo Ferravanti packing the pit super deep. Still have his composure to finish with a very stylish layback jam. Yeah, that was a, uh, I hate to say it, but that was a safe maneuver for Leo. Look at that beautiful double drag there. Now he starts to let go. Now he hits the gas and comes out nice and clean. And then just that carve down just to make sure he finishes off. That's one of the things that really impresses me about Leo's approach is he doesn't make too many mistakes. He doesn't fall off a lot. As we see him paddle into position on this wave, We'll see if he commits to this one. Medina wants to roll the dice and see if he can better his lead. He's starting to heat up, looking for one big section, winds up, he'll float it. And he runs out of room on the inside corner. Definitely six minutes on the clock. Gabriel Medina doing a great job to keep his lead and stay active. He's always a very entertaining surfer, pushing hard to get down the line, looking for something big. Goes for the tail high reverse, he'll get stuck out the back. Five previous results, they came on tour at the exact same time at the mid-season rotation. They knew they were gonna be changing the sport. Right now, they're number one and two in the world as we see a split peak. We'll follow Medina now. Grab rail, down carve, right into a bottom turn, blows the tail out and misses the finish. He doesn't he doesn't get rattled that often and uh, basically this was the other side of the wave. This was a split peak. Ferravanti up and over the top. Nice finishing turn from Leo. 4.77 required. So we may see a lead change here, Joe. And uh, you can tell Leo's fired up. That's for sure. Medina making those little mistakes. Maybe pushing just a little too hard. Medina, 11 waves already. Leo just, uh, just caught his fourth wave. Here goes Medina again. You can tell it's just he's, I don't, I don't think he's rattled, but I think he just feels like he's, uh, I don't know, sort of on edge or something. I mean, it's um, kind of a frantic approach here, just catching anything that moves. Leo's up to him now, but you'll realize also he's still in second, still needs a 477. Yeah. I would have stayed down on this little bank right in front where he just got that 8.57. But you know what? This is Leo's backyard. I'm sure he knows... Uh, more than we do. Medina is going to try to create some space down the line. So he's got plenty of room now, 35 seconds to go. But he's also given Leo some room with priority to potentially perform to try to get a 477. Unbelievable matchups, back to back at the world title showdown. You can tell Medina is fired wow. up. He caught 13 waves in that one. Leaves with the win with a 7-1-7 and a 6-1-7 with a wild card from Rome, Italy, getting the high single score of that heat. Put himself in a great position to almost cause an upset. Needed a 4-7-7 at the end. Ended up turning a low four on that right. Doesn't get much closer than that, Potts. You know what? Medina's not happy with his performance right there. He left that door wide open. Made a lot of mistakes. Caught a lot of waves he shouldn't have. That's a lesson learned by Gabriel Medina right there.